So my grandpa ate half a quart of paint today, thinking it was yogurt. Oh no, the poor guy, look at him. He's literally just consumed this. That's really not very healthy, mate. Piers Morgan says something racist or homophobic. 18-year-old white boy wearing a suit from MS. Don't always agree with the bloke, but he does say it like it is. What if a make-a-wish kid says he wants some pussy? What are they gonna do? I mean, my guy's out here asking some really interesting questions. I'm actually kind of concerned how this thought-provoking question ever came to this person's mind in the first place. He's just chilling and they're like, hey, I wonder what happens if those Make-A-Wish kids decide they want some pussy. My alarm waking me up at 8.50 for a 9 a.m. lecture. Due to personal reasons, I'll play Minecraft on peaceful mode. The personal reason is that I have anxiety and zombies are scary. Bruh, what the f*** is going on here? Oh no, we've got a massive scrap. That bitch throwing up like that's her special attack. Yeah, did you guys see that? Literally, they're trying to have a fight or something, and then all of a sudden, this woman is throwing up on people. And it's not even by accident. You can see she's directing it at the person on the floor. If I'm fighting someone and you start throwing up on me, I swear, I'm redirecting my attack and killing you on the spot. It's always, can I have a slice? And never, hey, do you want a slice? Yeah, that, that really hurts, man. That really hurts. Outfit of the day, one or two? Which one are you thinking, guys? Okay, so the first image, my guy's wearing some fairly normal clothes, okay? Looking very nice. But if we just go over to the second outfit of the day, my boy's really, really gone sicko mode on us. <laughs> like, that is next level. I know which one I'm choosing. Hey, guys, this is the correct way to pour cereal. Wow, that's actually life-changing, man. Who would have thought that the correct way to pour cereal is by putting the milk in the cereal box and the Rice Krispies in the milk bottle? I need to try this, man. You guys need to try this as well. When your mum walks out of your room but doesn't close the door... I am getting the hell out of this house ASAP because the disrespect that I have just had to endure is the straw that broke the alpha male's back in this case. It's unbelievable. It's just disgusting. Yeah, I actually kind of relate with this. I honestly have never understood it when my parents come into my room, walk out and leave the door open. It's probably one of the most irritating things to happen to you. It's really not that complicated to close somebody's door when leaving their bedroom, so uh, make sure you do it. My premium snap prices. Pictures of me crying, $5. Videos of me crying. $10. Videos of me crying in the mirror while throwing the peace sign. $15. Now that is an absolute bargain. First date and she pull up in these. What are you doing? Uh, sharing my location in the group chat. That's right, fellas. You can't trust anybody who wears these creps on a first date. You could be in for a scrap. Iron Man, who? And we got a few pictures of my guy out here with the trip. I mean... <laughs> Look at this bloke. This guy's got way more swag than Iron Man. Junie Cortez walked so Tony Stark could run. This is a real ad in the McDonald's in Penn Station. All right, so for some reason, McDonald's had decided that this was a good idea for an advertisement. It's literally just a screen saying, we could show you a real egg. Can others? Ask our manager to show you one of our eggs we crack daily. Yeah, imagine going to an overworked McDonald's employee and saying, I must see a real egg. I need to see a manager. I must see the egg. Nobody. Girls with fake nails. Stop. Get up. Get refreshed. Rejuvenated. And get you some eggs. This girl's out here with sausage fingers. And the best bit is at the end of the video, one of these things, which I don't even know what they are at this point, I assume they're sausages, have fallen onto an innocent dog. My poor guy, man. Does anyone actually know what you're supposed to do when people are singing happy birthday to you? Yeah, I've never really thought about that before. Dear people that post 36 Instagram stories of them shouting lyrics in a nightclub. We skip every single one. Sincerely, everybody else. This is the worst TikTok video I've ever seen.
me. Seriously though, who comes up with the idea of dissecting an orange for a TikTok video? <laughs> okay, so I know you guys love the tweets where it's coming from actual established companies and they like to chat a little bit of smack on Twitter now and then. All right, so next up we have the official Pizza Hut Twitter page beefing with Leeds United. Hi, Leeds United FC. We've just seen a suspicious looking man peering through our chef's window. Can you let us know if you're planning to put pizza on the menu in the club canteen? To which the Leeds United Twitter page replied, ah, prefer Domino's fags. They don't take a week to deliver a tweet. <laughs> Bit rich coming from a club that hasn't delivered since 1992. <laughs> For people who bake all day, you sure know how to roast. Teacher, congratulations, you've achieved a D in your exam. Set eight mandem. <laughs> You know I'd keep that fang on me. What could this fang possibly be? Realize there must be more. Oh wow, I wasn't expecting that. That's definitely one of the most wholesome videos I've ever seen on Twitter. Everybody woke up like this before. <laughs> A teenager just excitedly skipped into the tube carriage and very loudly announced that he'd just lost his virginity. Every single person in the carriage high-fived him, and a middle-aged woman gave him a can of her full pack of Fosters. Who said Londoners went kind and lovely? The Super Bowl sucks. They should have just streamed Ninja for three hours. The most epic gamer and the future of sports. Honestly, who'd want to see the Super Bowl when you can watch Ninja? Next up, we have the Daily Mirror who tweeted out, I've been with my boyfriend for nine years, but I found out he's on a gay dating app. Well, that's a bummer. Next up, we have a video of Harry Kane, the professional football player. When you really like Tesco and you arrive at Tesco. Let's go! Who'd have thought that Harry Kane loved Tesco so much? Let's go! Facebook Marketplace's finest. Abdomen, I meant, what? A lamb, <laughs> a swing, what? It's good. Wow, I'm telling you, man, those Facebook kids are on a whole nother level. White dudes love breaking one of these bad boys out anytime they get near a body of water. <laughs> what even is one of these hats, man? <laughs> Yeah, if you wear one of these hats, you're definitely a legend. I don't think there's anything more upsetting than accidentally buying sparkling water. Wait, she said sparking water. Uh, Nina, I I'm not sure what sparking water is, but I, I get what you're trying to say here, and I appreciate that. The FBI just released this bank robbery security cam photo. Quite. Is the AdSense really that bad this month, man? You didn't need to turn to crime. The funny thing is, the guy who's in this picture here from a bank robbery genuinely looks like the YouTuber Quite. There's a reason I've only uploaded three times this month. Next up, we have a tweet which is incredibly inspiring. It's one of the finest rags to riches stories I've ever seen in my life. When you initially look at this tweet, you think my guy's out here flexing really hard, but it turns out that's not the case. Seven months ago, I was living with my parents, had no car, suffering from severe anxiety, causing major headaches daily, struggling to get more than three hours of sleep, and today, I'm still in that situation. Here are pictures of me photoshopped into GTA 5. Ah, yeah. My guy's out here flexing. UK rappers be like, I'm down in South Worcestershire eating my crumpet. When I'm done with you, you'll be scared like Miss Muffet. I really hope that I read that correctly. This man did more for Britain than the last three prime ministers combined. <laughs> Girls who caption their Insta photos, break up with your girlfriend, I'm bored, are the same girls who cry about their boyfriend who's not their boyfriend, but is their boyfriend liking other girls' Insta pics. Remember when you used to message your crush and match the number of exes they sent? And if you were feeling risky, you'd up it by one to see if they'd match it, till you were like XXXXXXXXXX to each other? Good times. Me when my mum says, pizza for dinner today, and then it turns out it's a frozen pizza. I honestly can't stand you. You're on, you, you, it's like your brain, your brain doesn't f***ing work, you, you, you idiot. You're honestly an idiot. I don't know what's, I don't know what's wrong with you, and you but your ego is f***ing me off. You think you're, you think you're the shit. You think you're so high and mighty. You, I mean, you literally, you're literally comparing yourself to a god. Whereas you're far from it. If you were a god, you wouldn't you wouldn't treat family like shit. 
first world problems right here. Frozen pizzas? No, thank you. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it there for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed. I can't thank you guys enough for the support you've been showing to the series recently. It's crazy how a couple of months ago we were probably getting like 50 to 100 views per episode. And then all of a sudden, episode 13, which was only two weeks ago, has 14,000 likes. You guys are honestly awesome and I really do appreciate it. From now on, as I've mentioned before, there will be new episodes every single Sunday. There's many more episodes you guys can go and watch from the series if you did enjoy this. So go ahead and check out the playlist. There's a link down below in the description and then you can just flow through all of the episodes. With that being said, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And guys, I will see you in the next video. Have an amazing day. Much love. Peace.